Hey everybody, Greg Grace. I'm here in the bucket. Okay. That's Paw Tucket, and I have my bosses, Aston Martin DB9 Coupe held hostage. If you see him, let him know, and let him know that if he wants it back, he's got to pay dearly. <laughs> okay, Nick. I'll just leave it on your desk, though. Anyways, we are here today because. You want to let your tenant move from one apartment in the same building to another apartment. Don't do it. All right. I'll tell you why. In a nutshell, when you do this, you're creating two vacancies instead of one. So you have a vacant apartment on the first floor. And Sally on the second floor wants to move into the first floor. You say yes, you let her move down. Now you just renovated the first floor for Sally. And then you're going up to the second floor to clean up Sally's apartment. And then you have to find a new tenant to replace her. So why would you do that? To make her happy? Hmm. Okay, valid argument. How much is her happiness worth to you? And how much are you willing to pay for her happiness? Me? I'm not paying anything for her happiness. She has a beautiful apartment on the second floor. Okay, the first floor, I'm going to find a regular old tenant, move them in. I have one vacancy to deal with. I'm not multiplying that. I can't. When I first started, I entertained those things. I would let one tenant move here, one tenant move here, and then the other tenant saw that this tenant moved, and they're like, can I move to this apartment? And it's like this musical chairs game. And I'm like, wait, hold on. Now that cost me how many thousands when it could have cost me how many hundreds? In our instance, you got to hire us to, to, to maintain them, clean them up, and then pay us to lease them, to find you new tenants. And then what happens if, you know, they don't like it and they want to move back to the second floor? You can't say no because you already said yes. You see what I'm saying? There's a lot of hassle with it. Now, some people may say, oh, Greg, you're out of line. You have to consider the longevity of the tenants. Sure, 100%. Tenure, retention, very important. But what I feel is that, yes, you're offering that short-term solution, but it could create a long-term problem. Mm -hmm. See what I did there? Short-term solution, yes, you're right, but that becomes a long-term issue because, again, the musical chairs analogy is the best way I can put it, especially if you have multiple people in the building. If you've got 6, 10, 12 apartments, and everybody's always shuffling around, it's going to create a lot of extra work for you, a lot of extra money. So the way we suggest you handle it is just by saying, listen, nobody moves. You move in once, that's it. We don't offer intra-apartmental switches. Some companies out there do it, not us. It's a hassle and it saves. It saves you a lot of money when you just maintain what they have. If they're not happy there, in this case, on that second floor apartment, they're free to seek a new place to live. That's how you should keep the, the rope and the leash on that just to protect you down the road, okay? I offer and welcome any types of feedback and opinions on this matter. And again, if you see Nick, let him know I have his Aston Martin. Once again, Greg Rice here at Nexus Property Management, your property and your tenants managed. Thank <laughs> you.